guys, <clears throat> sorry I'm losing my voice. Welcome back to a new studio vlog. I'm getting notifications, that's great. I just uploaded the studio vlog from last week, so that's gonna go live tomorrow. I thought I'd go ahead and keep the momentum going and get started on the next vlog. Today I'm gonna be working on getting the sticker sheets ready for Patreon, the fruit themed sticker sheets. I'm gonna have to draw a few more little fruit illustrations to create one of the sticker sheets. I'm going to be formatting that in Illustrator and getting that sent off to the manufacturer today. Hopefully, I also really want to do a fruit themed pattern um, and use that to create a postcard slash print for this month on Patreon. So um, we'll see how far we get with that. But anyways, welcome back. Let's get started.
happy Friday. Um, I picked up the camera and just realized that I don't think I've really talked in this video at all. Um, it's just a bunch of footage of things I've been working on. But anyways, I wanted to check in. I released all my character stickers today. So those are these. They're so cute. So, um, there's a cute little pink haired girl. This is, these are the working stickers. And then we have um, the book, the book stickers. These ones I think are my favorite sheets. So you've got the girl, maybe you to focus, the girl sitting in the chair reading, laying on the floor, and then sitting on a big stack of books. So that's really cute. Um, and I'll show you in my planner what they look like in a minute. But I uh, just released those today and this new pink washi tape. Did all my Instagram stuff posting about that and did my uh, email. And yeah, I think that's all I had to do as far as marketing. And then I had to take care of some admin stuff for something else, which I'm not allowed to talk about yet, but I will talk about later. Um, and then in my sketchbook right now, I'm sketching out some ideas for a pin, an enamel pin that I want to do for Patreon for next month but I gotta get it done now because it just takes forever to get stuff done. <laughs> In this day and age, it takes forever for it to get manufactured and for it to get back to me. So I really would like to get that sent off to my manufacturer this week. Um, so I'm working on designing that. So let me flip you around and show you my sketchbook. Okay, so I was playing around with the idea of something about autumn in my soul, so I've got um, it's autumn in my soul and autumn is a season of my soul. I think ultimately I'm going to go with it's autumn in my soul because I'm, it's like that I'm going for the idea that it's autumn, like my soul is autumn, which is how I personally feel. <laughs> and the theme next month is going to be a fall based theme. So it works out perfectly. Um, so I tried doing it's like a title of the book and like a planner. This was ultimately what I went with, but I wanted something with a lot more detail in it this time. Um, so I'm ultimately going with this. So I have open book, like a planner. I'm gonna have a fall leaf and an acorn here. I thought about doing like a fox, cute little fox head poking out from behind the planner um, like this. Uh, we'll see when I draw this digitally if that happens. I also may do the fox head here like on the actual page instead of this pumpkin. Um, I wrote it's autumn in my soul but ultimately when you read a book you read it down like this so I'm going to switch it to this right here. It's autumn and on the other page in my soul. Add some sparkles, cute little bookmark. Uh, this flower I drew it here but I'm going to move it over here behind the book and then here instead I want to do like a little like fall cinnamon like latte type drink and then um, maybe a cute sparkly orange heart on the cup but uh, sorry I keep saying uh so much because I'm thinking through I'm processing through this as I'm telling you so um, if I do switch the fox head for the pumpkin then I'm going to switch the pumpkin for the heart so this cup will have the pumpkin on it here instead so we'll see how that goes and then this I was just practicing my um hand lettering to see how I wanted to do that and I really like how this turned out. Um, the sizing on both sides is going to match a lot better though when I do it digitally. So that is that. Okay, so these are the character stickers. Maybe I can get to focus. There we go. So that's one of the book ones. Um, this is like from the texting sticker sheet. And then this one is the skincare one. This is from the working sticker sheet or like working on the computer. And then this one's also from that same one. It's just like a cute little, sorry, can't seem to focus today. It's a cute little iPad uh, screen with some flowers. And then I did some example ones here in the back of my planner, if I can get it open one-handed, because I'm holding the camera with one hand. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> there we go. So that's what they look like on the page by themselves. So cute. And these are the uses sticker paper where it feels, it's super thin, so it almost feels like the illustration is done right on the paper instead of being a sticker, which I love. And I have no plans of switching to another sticker paper anytime soon because this is the best thing I've ever found. All right, and that is the character stickers.